Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing really well out there. Huge episode today, trip to the thrift Thursday morning. It is my favorite day of the week. I love making these videos. Basically, you and I are going out thrifting. We're gonna do four op shops today. I'm gonna to show you the stuff that I find. I'm gonna show you what it goes on to sell for on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. Basically, I'm a full-time online reseller. I sell stuff on the internet for a profit. If that's something you wanna do, if that's something you currently are doing, feel free to hit the subscribe button and give this video a like as well because that is a great way to help support the channel. Like I said, we're gonna to go to four op shops today. I'm gonna to show you the stuff that I buy. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can find some really cool items. But I do need a tune to kick off the episode. I need it to be a good one. And that won't be it. Need another one. Oh, no, one more. No. Let's do it. Oh boy, first stop of the day. <laughs> that was pretty good. Let's get in the car, I'll show you what I got. Oh man, that was a big one. That was a big one. Let's go through it. I won't take too long on these, I'll just because I really want to get out to the next op shop. We're on a roll here, but I'll go with the books first of all, because that was the best part of that first run. I went and I saw in the kids section, a set of book series, and there was about four or five different book series. And to be honest, they're all worth grabbing because they were very low cost. Uh, the first one was Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Um, I can't remember the comps, they're all okay. So I'll whack them up here for you to have a look at. But this is in brand new condition, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, a very popular book. Um, I'm thinking maybe, I don't know, I don't want to say how much I'll, I think it's worth because I truly can't remember what the comps were. Um, I found this one, Wings of Fire by 2T Sutherland as well. This one is in pretty good condition too. A couple of dings here on the corners, but I still think because it's in its box, I'll be able to get some good money for this one. So I've picked that one up as well. Uh, there were two others in the book series. This one was, I think, about $90, which is just ridiculous. The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. Uh, found those books there. I think there's seven of them all up. That's a complete series. Um, so that one's going to go for quite a few dollars. Hopefully, I'll get the full 90 for that one. I've paid, I paid $6.00. Uh, you might, yeah, there you go, six bucks. So six bucks for that. I think all book series are around the $6 price point. Uh, and then this one as well, another very popular book series, uh, Captain Underpants. Um, there you go. So Captain Underpants book series as well. I've paid $6 for this. There are a total of three, six, nine, ten books in this series. Uh, again, I'll whack the comps up here for you to have a look at. When you're buying books, guys, I always look for hardcover books 
Um, I always look for the, the complete series if I can find it, but if they're boxed like those, you're always going to tend to get a few more dollars. So as much as I do try to sift through the books to try and find a series or to make up a bundle, um, I always obviously love to find the box because it means I don't have to go searching. I can just nick it off the shelf and away I go. So um, do look out for the, bo uh, the books. There's always a bit of money to be made in those. Um, I also had a bit of a flick through the clothing. Um, let me just turn the car on because it is warm in here. All right, that's way better. Um, now, in the clothing, I found a All Blacks uh, Rugby Union jersey as well. So I had to pick this one up. I've paid $12 for this one, but I know based on past sales, I should be able to get about $50 for it. You guys know how much I love my jerseys. And when I found this one, an authentic Adidas Extra Large uh, All Blacks jersey, that was a no-brainer for mine. I had to pick that one up. Um, it'll probably move on Facebook Marketplace and I'm probably going to get about 50 bucks for it. So buying it at 12, I've got no concern with that. Um, New Zealand Warriors um, clothing goes really well and I've been able to find a 25 year uh, commemoration singlet um, for the New Zealand Warriors. So, so this was the years 1995 to 2019. It's a size large, it's basically in like new condition. Uh, this one should sell pretty well on eBay, I would imagine. Um, I found a Tommy Hilfiger polo as well, just a, ra a plain uh, red size medium um, in good condition Tommy uh, polo shirt. Now they always go for about $20 for me plus postage. I usually list them up for about $28.95 and I generally get the result. So don't mind buying that. Also found a Brisbane Broncos um, training top. Um, this one a little bit distressed. Uh, there's a few cracks there as you can see there, but I still thought I'd pick this one up because it is still in reasonable nick. It's only when you look up close that you can see the damage. Um, this one was just $5. It is an extra large and I do think I can flip this one into $25. Even on Facebook Marketplace pretty comfortably and make 20 bucks off it. So thought I'd grab that one as well. Um, I bought three pairs of shoes. There were a number of shoes in there, but I just thought there were a couple of them that weren't in great nick. Um, I am getting a little bit particular when it comes to purchasing shoes. I really thoroughly look over them, which is I, I think is a good thing. And I'm also a bit curious on size. I only like to play size eight and up nowadays. Um, I'm going with a brand that I've really not bought too much before, and that is Brooks. But I found these Brooks shoes for just $7. They've really got a great sole on them, so I thought I had to nick these, and the size was all right too. We're talking a size nine. So women's size nine in the Brooks running shoes. Like I said, I don't sell Brooks a hell of a lot, but I thought, why not? Just give it a go. Um, these were a 50-50 for me. It was just the soles. I mean, they are a great shoe. There's nothing wrong with them, the New Balance. Um, these are the 880 V7s, but it was just the sole there. There's a bit of wear there, and normally I wouldn't like to buy something like that. I have also paid $10 for these. Um, so that's why it was a bit of a 50-50 for me, but I'm gonna see if I can turn this into about 40 bucks. Um, we'll see how we go. It's a good running shoe. It's really just a sole that I had a bit of a concern about, uh, but maybe somebody will be happy to take the punt. Um, $8 for these as well. Now these were just a pair of Converse One Stars. Um, they were in relatively good nick there, as you can see by the sole. I've paid just $8 for these. Converse sell pretty well for me, so I thought I'd pick that one up as well. So a few clothing items, a few shoes. We've gone absolute bang on the books, which is absolutely awesome. Um, and that was basically it. I've paid $40. The lady in there, she's done a good deal for me. She just said, hey, 40 bucks, you can have it. So awesome little result there on the first op shop. Let's move on to the second one, because like I said, I want to get moving. I want to get into the next one, because I think we're going to do well in there too. So let's keep pushing on.
stop the music guys op shop number two is all wrapped up and we've done all right here i've got a few things to show you um a lot of the dvds and um pretty much dvds and games actually from this haul there was one item of clothing i might start with the one item of clothing um have a look at this what an absolute beauty i was shocked to find this guy i thought potentially when i first saw him he might be a fake might not be genuine and then i thought that the price might be really high and then I saw $6. So absolutely thrilled. Uh, it is an LA Dodgers baseball authentic Nike uh, jersey. This one is a size large, thank you very much. I'm very, very happy to pick this one up for $6. And I'm gonna go pretty high on this. There's not too many comps on uh, eBay. So I'm gonna go maybe $80, $90. We'll see how we go there. A um, Couple of people looking at me. Uh, <laughs> A couple of people looking at me outside going, well, what is this guy doing on his camera showing items of clothing? Anyway, um, who cares? Next thing is, uh, okay, some, some DVDs and some games. Um, we've got the Mighty Boosh. So the Mighty Boosh Special Edition DVD, thank you. This one is about $80, I believe, from memory. Um, the Mighty Boosh, cool TV show. Managed to pick that one up. I think I've paid about, I actually have paid a dollar for this one here. A dollar for all the DVDs that you're about to see. Um, I found a couple of horror DVDs. These two horror DVDs were going for over $20, so I had to pick them up. Tales from the Dark Side, um, so I picked him up there. The comps will let you know, but I did the comps in there. It took me a while to sift through all the DVDs. And I haven't come away with a heap, uh, but at least they're all over that sort of $20 price point. So that was one. This one was a really good one, Near Dark. Um, picked up Near Dark, the DVD there. Uh, again, just paid a dollar for this one. So he's in pretty good nick and the comps were telling me he was worth quite a few. Um, I also found one other, which was a Michael Jordan uh, game as well. So his Anus, um, I've picked that one up as well. Um, shoot, I mean, Michael Jordan, anything Jordan you should pick up too, right? A um, couple of games as well. I found Need for Speed Underground 2. I think this one goes for about uh, $30. This is an old PC game, but they do sell, believe it or not. Um, so I picked him up there. The CD itself looked in pretty good condition. And I also found a game that if it was in a big box, I think it's worth about $120. It's System Shock 2, the PC game. Now, if it is in the larger box, I think that, like I said, it's $120. But I think this one's about $30, bucks, just being a standard case, uh, which is unfortunate. But again, I've only paid a dollar, so who cares? Um, all right, so that was that was basically everything. Um, I've been able to find a heap of games and DVDs, all comping over $20 each, and we've paid just a dollar a piece. And then I found for $6, the LA Dodgers baseball jersey. So not too bad of a stop for op shop number two. And I will just say, while I've got you here for a second, before we push on to op shop number three, I've really kind of honed in on my niche areas. I really want to sort of hone in on where I focus my time and attention. And I want to start selling just certain things in my store on eBay. I don't want to just buy anything that can make me some money. I really kind of want to streamline it. So I've got four categories that I will only be sort of looking for from now on, and that is clothing. I think it's a great one to stay in. Um, shoes, you guys know how much I love my shoes. Uh, and then books and DVDs. They are going to be my four categories moving forward. So a lot of the items that you're going to see on these trips to the thrifts are really focused around those four categories. Um, I think it's a good thing to do when you are beginning to resell more full time is to sort of just hone in and get really good at a couple of categories. And they are the four categories that I've picked. So thought I'd just let you know that because you're probably going to start to see a little bit more of it uh, over the next few weeks and months. But um, not a bad little op shop number two there. A few dollars made for sure. We'll get on to op shop number three and hopefully some more good stuff.
guys, Op Shop number three, all done and dusted. And geez, I got a little lucky in there. I walked in and she said, it is half price day. Did you realize? And I said, no, I didn't. So that was a really good start. And it was just a matter of finding some good items that I could get for half price. And that proved to be the difficult part. Couldn't really find a hell of a lot. It is about midday now. And I reckon it's been picked out this morning, which is a bit unfortunate. But I did find a few items. And the first one was this Melbourne Rebels Rugby Union uh, jersey as well. So I, I think this one here might go for about 30 bucks. I've only paid $6 for it. So I thought that was a pretty good buy. Um, really, really nice item there. Nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Um, these ones are a pair of Oakley board, um, not board shorts, I'm just casual shorts. Now I don't sell a hell of a lot of Oakley, but Oakley is a, still a pretty good brand to get your hands on. Um, I reckon I can turn that into $25. It is in very, very good condition. I've paid just $3 for this. It was six and I got it for three. So when you're buying Oakley shorts, size 34 waist for $3, um, I'll definitely take that away with me. Um, I found a couple of polo shirts as well. Now these polo shirts were priced at eight, so I got them for $4. I wouldn't have bought them for eight, but I actually liked them in the sense that they weren't the small flag logo like you always see with your Tommy Hilfigers. So we'll see how these ones go. I'm probably gonna sell these as a pair. Um, I've got two of them. Another one as well that was slightly different to the normal, um, you know, obviously the H there, a bit different to the small flag. So um, that both of these are a size medium, which helps going ahead and putting them as a bulk purchase um, for a pair. Um, I'll try and list those up for 40 bucks and I've paid $4 a piece. So eight into 40, not too bad. Another $40 item as well with these Levi Strauss jeans now these were the five six nines you would have seen them um, i've paid three dollars fifty in the end there was a seven dollar ticket so three bucks fifty for a pair of levi's thank you very much uh, they'll go on to sell for forty dollars pretty comfortably i would say levi's just always a good brand to get your hands on especially at that price and then the last one that i found as well for two dollars i uh, couldn't say no chicago bulls t-shirt size medium um, thanks i'll take that as well so that was everything um, look not too much of a spend um, very kind of plain jane type items there Nothing that kind of jumped out at me of interest, but um, you kind of got to get the essentials every now and again as well to so keep uh, ticking the store over. So uh, just some clothing in that one. Uh, probably the worst of the three that we've done so far today. Still the books in the first op shop are winning out, but I really want to beat it. I want to get into the fourth op shop and I want to top these book bundles that we've bought with some crazy cool items. So no guarantees. We're going to do one more. We're going to hope for the very best. Fingers are crossed. Let's punch into it and see how we go. Okay guys, the last op shop has been ticked off for the day and it was a clean out of some Gold Coast Suns uh, clothing that I've been able to get my hands on here. Uh, I've paid relatively around the $8 average um, cost per item here, but there's some really quality gear and this was the Gold Coast Suns in the Aussie Rules, the AFL over here in Australia. I've got, I think it was last year's kit, uh, so it should go on to sell pretty well here. Um, but there's a really nice jumper. Now, all of this was a 2XL size and it was like new. Um, so this zip up jumper here, really nice one. Um, this would have been player issued, well not player issued, but um, certainly like genuine uh, merchandise that you could buy out of the, out of the store there at the, at the footy club. Um, a hooded jumper here as well. 
um, all the branding, it's all brand new, basically. There's nothing, it's it's literally not been worn. So I've got a really nice jumper there. I think I've got about seven or eight of these all up in total. There's another jumper, again, 2XL. So I've got that. Um, I've got some long sleeve, oh no, I've got some track pants here as well. It was literally their entire kit. So this is kind of cool because I reckon I can get this on eBay for about $25 to $30 per unit. Um, and I've paid roughly eight and I've got a whole heap of it. So this one here as well, um, long sleeve sort of training top that they wear. Uh, so that was a good buy as well. I think I paid $7 for that one from memory. You would have seen it in the clip. Um, these were probably the best of the bunch. They're sort of team issue track pants. I haven't seen these ones personally myself before. They're in really, really good nick. Um, they should sell pretty well too. So I've grabbed that. And then yeah, more of the same, just the longs um, from a, a training top perspective. So, so many uh, clothing items there that actually do get picked up. I haven't checked the eBay comps because I just know that they will go on to sell quite well. Also found some DVDs as well. Um, these are the dunk DVDs um, from the basketball. So I had to pick up those, the NBA Street Series. There's four of them there. They will go as a bundled purchase or a bundled sale, I should say, on eBay. And then I also found um, some shoes. Now these were the America Skate Shoes. Uh, it's not a brand that I come, there it is there, not a brand that I come across all too often, but it is a really good skate brand. There's a lot of brand new America shoes on eBay that have sold for around the 100 to $120. If I can get 40 to 50 for these, they are in fantastic condition. Um, so I think I'm every chance and I thought they were quite cool. I've paid just $6 for those, um, but the America skate shoe brand, definitely one to keep an eye out for. They are quite a quality skate shoe. Uh, a lot of the youngsters do like to wear it. So that was it. Basically, the Gold Coast Suns clothing was the pick of the day there. Not the pick of the day, pick of the op shop. Um, pick of the day was definitely the books for sure. Um, would have liked to have found a few more things in that last op shop, but a haul of Gold Coast Suns clothes, not too bad because they will go on to sell, especially with the footy season only a couple of months away. Um, that's it for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Remember to hit the like button if you're still here tuning in. Uh, it is very, very much appreciated and uh, I do look forward to catching you in the next video. We're going to do a what sold video on Sunday. So if you are brand new to the channel, um, definitely hit the subscribe subscribe button. It would be very, very much appreciated. Thank you for tuning into this one. I've had a lot of fun. I've got to get back home. I've got to list all this up onto eBay to make some money, uh, but hopefully you've enjoyed it and I look forward to catching you in the next one. We'll see you soon. Thanks guys.